Hey guys, how's it going? Kyle Dittman here from Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. And today we have in a cricket from Taxa. Bringing new meaning to off-grid camping. We'll walk around the outside, we'll bring you into it. Bring you inside, let's see what you think. All right, small but versatile little trailer right here. There's gonna be a lot going on. We'll kind of get, try to get touch base and everything. If you have any questions, Please reach out and see you have a nice LED lit outside for the campsite to keep the campsite lit. Nice rugged tires to get you going down those dirt roads, aluminum rims. This is engineered by an old NASA engineer, so there's just a lot happening. Tie downs everywhere, every space is just useful. Like here you got a side bumper. It's a step to get up to the roof. <laughs> You know, you can sit on it while you're at the campsite, an extra little stool. Got your toolie racks on the top to hook up your toys. Whatever you want up there, those are in. We have it popped up right now to give you that extra headroom we can see in there. Have the door shut. You got these neat little, these sections that kind of hook the door up when you open it. And we'll just lock it in place. So the wind's not blowing it around, opening it up. So you can have your door open. Nice red LED light, lit staircase at night to come in and out so you're not tripping. You're gonna see stuff like this everywhere. Little hooks to hook up your stuff. If you want a little broom for the inside, anything you want to hook up, you have little hooks like that everywhere. Windows with shades. They do open up for ventilation. Couple 20 pound LP tanks up front. And again, you know, you got more of these hooks when you're tying stuff down. More hooks here, just kind of every space of this, every inch of it is built and engineered to camping off the grid. Outside spray port, hot and cold water for rinsing yourself off. You got a shower system there. The Truma hot water heater vent. That 30 amp service. More windows, again, just nice small aerodynamic unit. The size of your bumpers, stairs, seat. The back door opens up as kind of an awning section. To kind of open that up, give you some shade, give you some airflow. This is the inside where the bed will be. These do flip up and give you some really good storage under it. And you can see it's kind of all open to cut all that weight off of it. Coming in right around 1,500 pounds. Be able to tow this with anything. Get the nice durable floor, no carpet, no smells. You're gonna have a full size spare tire right under the bottom back there. Big window in the back and you can see, I'll show you. Here's more of these hooks for when you do close it, when you're strapping stuff down. Just stuff to hook bungees and cords everywhere. Really, really nice. We'll kind of show you from the back. One of the beds is up. This one does sleep four. You can put two kids up here. These racks are built for 130 pounds. We'll show you better when you get inside. And this is gonna be your bed. It'll have the twin width on it and a queen size length it's a really nice size bed here for this little one coming in on this side it's got about six feet ten inches worth of height in here so those folks are a little taller you're thinking this might not work i mean i'm only five six five eight but this this gives you a lot of headroom to kind of show you. You do have a nice little kitchen area up front with covers over both the two burner stove and the sink to give you that workspace when you need it. And then give you this, the cooking space and the sink when you're ready for that. But those covers will give you all that. Nice space right here. And again, I'm just gonna point them out. They're everywhere, hooks to tie down everything. You got these milk crate. Container style ones, you can pull it out, 
you know, if you get your camping goods in here, you can pull it out. Just bring it right out to the camping side. You don't gotta take everything out. You just, you just bring it back in and put it in here. Comes with a porta potty. Again, that's just kind of the whole deal. You got these hooks. We'll open this one up. They're they're tight. You know, give you good storage and good security when you're going down the road. Really nice. Battery disconnect, radio, lights, 110, all right there. And you got lights for inside. You got this neat red light, you got a dinette light, and then back there you got an ambience light for at nighttime. This is that bed we were talking about on the outside that comes down and just held up by the carabiners. Like I said, 130 pounds. So if you got kids or if you just want to put extra storage up here, it's really great for that. Then here's the other one, how it looks like when it's folded up and stored away. The dinette table is great. It's on a swivel, so you can fit four people around there, two people this way, however you want to do your games or dinner. Really great. Then you drop this post out, and this will drop down. You can fold out this cushion here to make it into a bed. On the back side, you do have a 12 volt hook. You got some USBs for your devices, and then you do have 110 right there as well. If you have shore power, you can hook up into that. And you can plug in all your necessities there. Just wanna show you this nice kind of skeleton frame that goes around. Just makes it nice and solid. Goes everywhere. Built in little hooks all over the place. You know, just kind of everywhere you'd want. Everywhere you don't want, you're going to find hooks and you'll find needs for them and uses for them. And there's a ton of stuff in the back too. There's a ton more hooks up top there if you can see those. Just kind of run throughout everywhere. Hooks here, just like I said, engineered for the camper. Just can't get enough and they're just kind of tucked away so they're not really in the way they're just ready anywhere you need one you can hook stuff down great little camper here and then this is how you pop it up and down really convenient easy one hand if you want to do that Great tinted windows, keep the sun out. And then at night, if you want, drop these shades down for the privacy, open them up for some ventilation. Again, these all just kind of twist up if you want more space. You can pop these up for the storage, move them out of the way while you're in here, make more room, and pop them down at night. really great unit so we'll bring out give you one more kind of look in there yeah almost forgot you got a nice fan right above to vent everything out as well and then should have showed you these nice windows with the appropriate hook you just twist that up and latch it in so you have the vent mesh windows you got five of them you got one up front one on either side and then little ones in the back here too so you got five of those mesh windows and then you got four of the big windows the one on the door two back here and then one on the other side So like I said, you can just really open it up and get some cross ventilation of air going. Nice, fun, practical little unit to bring anywhere off the grid to get miles past anybody else. All right, there you have it. My name is Kyle Dittman with Duluth, Duluth Minnesota, Bullion RV. Contact us up here if you have any questions. My number is 320-290-5834. Make sure to smash that subscribe button to get all the videos linked right to you if you're in the market. Don't miss out on something like this. We'll see you soon.